JT, do you see the ball? And this is the Rochester Baby Lab, which is a facility that conducts experiments on parents and their infants uh, in a variety of different domains. Some of those domains have to do with language, and some of those domains have to do with visual attention and memory, and also the ability of infants to show activations in different parts of the brain when they're engaged in these different kinds of tasks. In the Baby Lab, most of the, the research that I do um, is focused on studying how kids allocate their attention in the world. So this one works with a monitor over there called a, a Toby eye tracker. The child is placed in front of it and then um, okay, yeah. for this particular study, as long as the child is looking at the screen, what's on the screen continues to play. When they look away, then it turns off. So the, the baby's in control of what they see, um, which they usually like a lot. In a lot of these studies, one of the tricky things is to keep um, the interest of, of the infants who come in. And so um, oftentimes what we have is between trials, we'll have some kind of little video that's there to recapture their attention if they start looking around or getting bored. Hey, don't worry, now comes the exciting stuff. <laughs> One of our favorite attention getter clips is um, a, a little video of a baby laughing, and it's amazing at, uh, how well that works. And so one of the things we've learned is that you can bring infants into the lab at about eight or nine months of age and present them with what's called an artificial language. It's a language that we make up. It's spoken. It's actually spoken by a computer, so it sounds a little bit unnatural. Rudy's. Rudy's. Pavo. Pavo. We know that we can present Rudy. infants with this language, and over the course of about two or three minutes, they can extract some very interesting properties of this language. For example, they can figure out what the words are in the language, even though the words are not normally marked by pauses at the beginning and the end of a word. So they can pick up the fact that certain Mommy. sounds go together merely by listening to those sounds Mommy. presented in fluent sentences Mommy. by this computer. Lifa. Lifa. And what have you learned from this? Um, that my baby's really smart. <laughs> there are a lot of things I like about working here. Um, the research that goes on here is is excellent. Um, we use a lot of different new technology, new methodologies, so it's very exciting. Um, I also love working with families and kids, and it's it's really a treat to have families come in many times and get to see kids grow up. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. Aww. This is the University of Rochester.